this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today, in this video, I'm going to be joined by the one, the only, Mr. Lee Bear. That's, that's the side I want you to enter from, Lee. That, that, that's the side. You come out facing me, please, from now on, Lee. <laughs> how are you doing today, Lee? Please express how happy you are in whatever way you like. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I guess Lee is very happy today. Look at him circling the room. <laughs> <laughs> jumping over all of the furniture. Do not do this at home, please. Do not run around the room jumping over the furniture if you're happy. Maybe just give out a big smile. Just a big cheesy grin if you're feeling in a good mood today. <laughs> right, everyone will do a big cheesy grin now. Smile! <laughs> you can't see me, but honestly, I was. Anyway, there's a reason why I'm happy, and that is because uh, we are just moments away from doing the best thing in the world. I got a letter this morning saying that it has been officialized. There is a certificate saying that this is the best thing in the world. We are going to eat a cake. Time for breakfast. <gasps> nom, 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 nom. And there we go. I saved a whole slice for you there, Lee. Don't say I'm not good to you. And you can have a carrot as well. Why not? <laughs> anyway, let's go outside and let's play the shoot the minecart at the... No, no, shoot the arrow at the moving minecart game. And in this game, we need to shoot an arrow at a moving minecart. And Lee is going straight for it. You need to try and destroy the minecart. But if you stop the minecart... Uh, without uh, destroying it, then you have to do a forfeit, as Lee is very well aware, because <laughs> that's what he had to do in the last video. Right, my go. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident this time. Let's not aim too high. I think I keep aiming too high. So let's aim about here and fire now. And no, oh, it just went over it again. I think I still keep aiming too high. Right, next go, Lee. Next go. I'm going to shoot that minecart, and it's going to be amazing, okay? Do you believe me? Do you think that I can do it? Nope. <laughs> yeah, dear. Even do I, to be honest. I was just being optimistic. Anyway, let's go over and head to the Love Garden and uh, see who I'm adding to it today. Now, I'm actually adding uh, someone very special today uh, because they did something very special. But first, I'm going to do googly duty. Where are you? Come on. I heard you. I know there's a zombie round here somewhere. Come on. Where is he? Where are you? Did you hear that? Was I imagining it? Is he in here? Is he? Is there, are, there, are there zombies brewing potions? Where is the googly? Right, the hunt to find the uh, the zombie, I guess this can be then. Was the googly downstairs? I can hear it. I can still hear it. It's somewhere around here. It's growling very close by, but I'm not sure where it is. I guess I just need to listen out for it and try and find it that way. I think it's like, is it under the floor under here? Is it down in the, in, in the mushroom farm? Okay, here's, here's the new challenge. Quest to find the growling googly. Is it, is it inside of here? Maybe? Let's go and uh, have a look inside of here. Is there a googly growling in here? No, no googlies in this area. Behind the doghouse? Nope, it's looking uh, pretty googly free down here. This is a mystery. This is a room. Is it on the roof? If it was on the roof, it would be burning. Um, there's burning over there. Oh, ow! What was that? Oh, <laughs> was it you pretending to be a googly all along, Lee? Ah, a, a zombie with a diamond sword. That's terrifying. Where is the actual googly then, though? It's really close by. I was so sure it was going to be upstairs here somewhere. Was it hiding somewhere and I just went past it? Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll leave it. I guess the, the googly can stay. It doesn't seem to be uh, causing me too much harm. So I guess the uh, the zombie can stay there. Anyway, as I was saying before I was interrupted by the growling, uh, I'm going to add someone to the love garden who sent me a very special video. And I'm adding Infobuzz and he sent me a, a video called uh, Operation Stampy Cat. And he got a lot of his uh, friends and uh, some of the people that watch his videos uh, to send me a very, very special video. Uh, just saying uh, basically a tribute to me and them saying uh, about why they like my videos. And it was just really nice and touching and I wanted to say thank you so much for making the uh, the video Infobuzz and uh, welcome to my love garden and also uh, everyone who was in that video as well uh, a massive thank you uh, to all of you as well it was very nice it made me feel nice and uh, warm on the inside anyway we're going to be building something new today uh, we are going to be building a police station and uh, we're going to be building that uh, over next to the fire station uh, so then we'll have a oh that googly I don't like it I don't like there being a googly, but not knowing where it is. Ooh, I know where it could be. It could be in the doghouse, maybe. That's what's underneath here. Let, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. Wait, wait for me, Lee. Wait for me. We need to be careful. Is there a googly in here? Keep your eyes peeled, Lee. Keep your eyes peeled. He could jump out at any second. Where is he? Where is he? Is he in here? No, no googlies. 
We are zombie free as well. We have a, a very sneaky uh, zombie hiding somewhere around here. Anyway, let's go and uh, pick which dog. They're all very grouped together. Maybe there has been a zombie nearby. Maybe they've been scared and all grouped together. Uh, anyway, who shall I have been joined with me today? Let's have uh, let's have Spring. Uh, Spring can be the uh, the police dog <laughs> for uh, today's video, and uh, you can uh, you can come and join us. And uh, we're going to be, as I said, uh, heading over next to the fire station, uh, which is where we are going to be uh, building today. But I'm not going to be building any old boring bog standard police station. I am going to be building the Playful Popo station. <laughs> and it's basically uh, a police station uh, with a gel as well. Uh, but instead of um, inmates, it's going to have playmates. And so basically we're going to trap people inside. People that have been mean and they're going to be forced to play non-stop without breaks forever until we let them out. So you might think that, oh, that sounds lovely being able to play, but imagine being able to play uh, only and not being able to sleep or eat or do anything else. They're just playing and playing and playing and that's their punishment. So <laughs> it's going to be the uh, the playful popo station. So we're going to be building it out of um, uh, blue wool uh, as well as snow as well because um, snow is easier to get than white wool. And uh, we're going to build it. It's going to be uh, 11 blocks by 19. I don't want it to be too close. Let's do it like uh, about here. Then I need to go uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and this just about fits in. And then 19 blocks along this way, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So there we go. Uh, this is going to be the uh, the bottom row, uh, so it's not going to be uh, massive, uh, but it is going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be quite a cute little playful one. And because it's going to be uh, a playful police station, uh, we're actually going to uh, cover the uh, the roof with flowers as well, just to, <laughs> just to make it a little bit different. It's not going to be your, your bog standard police station. I don't like doing things the traditional way way. I don't like doing things the way that everyone else wants you to do them. I want to do them my own special little way. So uh, the outside is not going to be too crazy. It's basically going to be like this design the whole way around the outside and then along the front there's going to be like a, a little triangle as well and a little raised bit up there just because uh, I don't want it just to look like a massive rectangle because that's a bit of a, a boring shape for the um, the outside and the plan is as long as we're speedy and uh, we sometimes are speedy we're often not but as long as <laughs> I don't get too distracted and uh, the plan is to get all of the outside done and then hopefully Hopefully, uh, start building a, a few of the actual rooms on the inside. And there's going to be uh, a few rooms. There's going to be the little reception area uh, when people come in. Uh, there's also going to be an interrogation room. And so if we need to get some information about who's been stealing the cakes, uh, we can actually make them sit down in a chair. And we're going to shine a light in their eyes. Or in this case, glowstone. <laughs> and then... Uh, the way we're going to interrogate them is by tickling them. We're going to have some feathers so we can kind of try and tickle them. And also, we're going to eat cake in front of them and only give them apples, which is one of our meanest ways of interrogating people. <laughs> and then there's also going to be a couple cells, uh, which are going to be like the uh, the playrooms, uh, which is where people are going to be spending their entire time playing. So <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to get this uh, uh, police station uh, finished. And I wonder, who do you think the first person uh, to have to go in the police station is going to be? Who do you reckon is going to be the naughty person? in my world that's going to have to go in here. I can imagine me uh, eventually sending loads of people in here. Anyone that uh, isn't behaving at all. Oh, nope, I didn't mean to fall down there. Uh, so we just need to go and uh, do the roof. And uh, one of the other reasons why we're going to have the uh, the roof a little bit raised is there is going to be one very small piece of redstone. Very small, honestly. Uh, basically making it so uh, you can release food. So into the cells, there's going to be dispensers in the ceiling. Uh, but if you press a button, uh, it's going to drop down some. Probably not particularly tasty, seeing as they are criminals that are going to be in here. Uh, yeah, but just drop down some food for them. And so then that way they can have uh, something to eat. Uh, so they're not going to get too hungry while they're in there. But talking about being too hungry, look at me. I've only got three hunger bars left. I am starving. And oh, <laughs> where are you going, Lee? I think it's on. Let's have, let's have a game of cake peekaboo. Oh no, forget it, forget it. Let's let's try let's try and do um. Is there any other cake related games we could do other than cake peekaboo? Uh, we could do. Should we do? Should we do cake parkour? Right. Try and place a few cakes around the area, Lee. And uh, we need to see if I can jump. Okay. I need to start put put a cake in this corner here. And I need to start on this corner and try and jump on only cakes uh, to try and get to the end. And you need to make it quite difficult. And every time I fail a jump, um, I need to uh, I need to eat a slice of the cake <laughs> to try and make it a little bit harder. So the yeah, so it's going to be slowly disappearing in front of me. And look, there's a little a little pit down here. I want to be careful. I don't want to go and fall down that hole. <laughs> and let's see if I can make it from one side to the other. It's going to be tough though uh, because I'm quite hungry. Right, I think I can do this though. Right, big jump. Oop, I managed to make it. This one's quite a tough one. Oop, managed to land on top of the cake again. Right, jump. 
jump, jump. Oh, no. Oh, I, I fell off a bit. I got to eat a slice. I got to eat a slice. And um, out the door. Yay. <laughs> and now we can go around just eating all of the cakes. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> right, let's go and do the, uh, the roof quickly. And then we can come back down here and I go and start doing the floor. Actually, do you have any, um, uh, can you throw me uh, a little bit more blue wool and snow, actually? I I'm running quite low. Mainly uh, blue wool, actually. I think we've almost filled in uh, all of the snow. And so there we go. You can see what the uh, the front looks like there. I think that looks really cool. And so it's going to be really simple. And we're basically going to carry on building along here. And uh, this is going to be where the uh, the the attic is. Uh, well, kind of the attic, just the the, the bit where the redstone's going to be uh, is going to be hidden up here. And then inside, it's going to be the same blue and white. I thought that's kind of policey colours or popo. And popo, if you don't know, is just like a a more fun word for police. So uh, I thought calling it a popo station rather than a police station, the playful popo station, I think just sounds uh, a little bit more fun. And seeing as this is going to be probably the most fun police station ever, um, yeah, it just seemed like a, a better a better name for it. So let's go and. Uh, build this along here and then we can go inside and uh, start building the inside and oh I know what we should do rather than just being boring and uh, just trying to destroy the floor and building it we could have another round of spontaneous spleef and uh, have any of you seen uh, the last video where we did uh, spontaneous spleef? Uh, basically, rather than just destroying the ground, we have a game of spontaneous spleef. We just go <laughs> and uh, try and knock each other down uh, in standard spleef fashion and uh, see who can win. And I think uh, I actually won the last round. I think we did a best of three last time. Uh, so we can try and do the same again and uh, have another quick game of spontaneous spleef. I'm in a, a very playful mood. Building this uh, playful police station has put me in a, a very playful mood today. Right, let me try and whoop, jump up here. And is there going to be an elegant way for me to get down? I guess I can jump down this staircase quickly before Lee's destroyed it and then we can go inside and uh, have a game of a uh, spontaneous spleef I guess right let me go and uh, just fill in this bit of dirt here and uh, we're gonna have to watch out for the cakes as well the cakes are gonna be obstacles and oh ha, ha, bye Lee I don't think you meant to do that oh no there's a creep up Lee are you okay are you okay down there Lee are you all right right I'm coming down I'm coming down I'm coming down are there any more creepers down here are we good are we good I, th I think I think Lee's okay. That was a <laughs> that was a little bit scary there. Right, no harm seems to be done. Uh, let's just try and get out of here if we can though. If I jump up here, and then if I can kind of break my way up here a little bit, this might work. Uh, I think Lee's going uh, out that way, and uh, let's be very careful that there's no creepers around here. Are you are you guarding us here, Spring? You are the police dog now. Uh, you do have to guard us. If you see a creeper coming, you got to do the sign, okay? The sign is to make the noise of a chicken, okay? If you understand, growl at me. <laughs> There we go. He understands. Brilliant. Right, let's go. Let's go inside and let's have a game of spontaneous spleef. A little bit of cake to get me started. Okay, so uh, yeah, we start on either end of the room and then we run into the middle and just destroy the dirt and try and knock each other down. We will begin spontaneous spleef in three, two, one. Let's spleef. Right, okay. No standing on the cakes as well. <laughs> I guess you can, but then you can just eat the cake and try and knock them down that way. There we go. He's going for the cake tactic. Oh, and I can destroy the cakes just as quick as the dirt as well. Ah, this is going to be interesting and we're going to do a, a best of three as well. Oh, needs go for it. Oh, no. I fell down. I was trying to chase after Lee. I got too aggressive and I fell down. Ah, right, let's gather up a, a bit of the, the fallen dirt and look at the redstone under here. Gosh, like spaghetti junction. Ah, there's so much redstone all over the place. Right. If you start trying to fill in some of the dirt, Lee, and then I'm going to come up and help you as well. And then we can go and have a round number two. So if Lee wins this round, then oh, down he goes. And uh, then he's going to be the overall winner. Uh, but if I win, uh, then we're going to have one more go as the uh, as the final uh, to see who's going to be the uh, spontaneous spleef winner uh, of today, basically. Uh, so let's go and fill in these last few bits. I should hopefully uh, just about uh, have enough dirt. And good idea, Lee. It is uh, actually getting a little bit dark in here. Now it's night time. And plus, uh, we don't want any googlies coming. We should be safe from googlies because I haven't heard Spring making any chicken noises. Are we all good out here, Spring? Are we all good? No googlies? Yep, yeah, okay, it's good. He's, he's given the sign. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Right, round number two then, Lee. If you get over to your side, I'm going to get to this side. Do you want to put down a, a few more cakes as well, Lee, if you've got any spare? Because I think they're they're quite a, a fun twist being able to, to jump over the cakes. Right. <laughs> I see like you put them all on your side and not my side, Lee. That's not very fair. Only joking, only joking. It's fine. Right, round number two. We'll start in three, two, one. Spontaneous spleef away. Okay, right. I'm going to be very aggressive this time. Even though it didn't work last time, I want to try and get... Look, I've got him trapped into a corner and he's trying to make a run for it. Oh, he got scared and ran back away. He's running straight for me. Oh, no, he went after me. And, oh, I thought he fell down then, but he just about didn't. Oh, okay. We've sort of, like, cornered each other off from each other here now. 
I think he's going to try and get across to my side. I just need to be uh, ready for him to make his run. And there he goes. There he goes. He made the jump. And oh, sorry, Lee. I didn't mean to hit you there. I promise. I promise I didn't mean to hit you. We're really running out of floor now. <laughs> We're being very counterproductive building this police station, though, because we keep building bits, then destroying it. Right, I'm making the jump across. I'm making the jump across. And sorry, Lee. Oh, no. Okay, I won, but I knocked him. I guess that is against the rules, but <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it. This is good, though, because this means we get to have a decider. We get to have the final go to see who the... Uh, a spontaneous spleef champion is gonna be so uh, let's go try and as quickly as we can I go and fill in the uh, the rest of the dirt uh, we should hopefully uh, have enough dirt on us do you have much more dirt on you Lee because I've completely run out already it's all just falling down there are we good out here spring no googlies anywhere in sight where are all the googlies actually it seems to be a, a very quiet night as far as googlies are concerned and oh no as soon as I say that I see they're all spawning on the rooftops okay let's go and stay away from the pick a pet pet shop then shall we okay I think this might be all the dirt we have so this will have to do this will make it just that little bit harder okay let's switch sides then for the finale have one more slice of cake for good luck and let's begin in three two one let's go all right, I want to be really careful this time. I'm sorry for hitting you last time, Lee. I honestly didn't mean to. I was going for the floor. All right, let's see if I can take him out. Oh, he's trapped in a corner a little bit. He's trapped in a corner. There's a few pillars down there as well. Oh, he's making a run for it. He's making for a run for it. I've got to run away. I'm scared. I don't even know where he is. Is he chasing me? Oh, he is. Oh, he's falling down. He's falling down. He went to jump on the cake, but I destroyed it. And he fell all the way down <laughs> into some water at the bottom. Good game, Lee. Good game. Well played. Well spleefed. Right, let's actually now properly destroy the uh, the dirt rather than putting it back in. And uh, let's go and do the floor. And I think we're going to do um i think we'll do uh white uh we'll do uh snow for the floor i think we'll look quite cool and just keep the uh the uh the white and blue pattern on the inside i'm sorry spring i guess you can join us i don't know why i'm making you sit up there for the entire video you should be you should be fine in here i say that sometimes my dogs <laughs> i think my dogs will be fine somewhere then they always find a way to to get themselves in trouble but i'm sure spring will be absolutely fine in here look he loves it he wants to join in with spontaneous spleef <laughs> he's gonna start biting all of the dirt blocks to try and knock us down <laughs> I don't think he's very good, though. He's just jumped straight down into the water. He should hopefully uh, be okay. The problem is... Uh, we no longer have a guard dog now. There's no one uh, outside the front looking out for Googlers. I guess we can have a, a guard bear and Lee can uh, try and keep an eye on me and hopefully uh, no creepers are going to sneak up. Saying that, a creeper has already snuck up on Lee and almost blown him up, so... <laughs> oh dear, I, gu I guess we'll deal with the Googlies as they come. Like, I always moan about the Googlies, but you've got to admit they are exciting. Oh no, Spring's getting hurt! Spring's getting hurt! All right, let me run away so he teleports. Are you okay, Spring? Spring, are you okay? Are you following me? Where is he? I heard him getting hurt down there. Did, did he follow me? I've got, I've got some steak if you want some, boy. Where, where, where did he go? Is Spring still downstairs somewhere? If I just run really far away, hopefully he's gonna, hopefully he's gonna teleport to me. Oh, hopefully he's okay. Spring? Are you okay? Oh, I said that. Oh, they always find a way to get themselves in trouble. Well, let's go try and find him, shall we? I can't see him uh, teleporting anywhere near me. Oh, no! He hasn't died, has he? Oh, we haven't lost Spring. Oh, he's gotta be down here. Spring! 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 If you're there, make a chicken noise! I can't hear a chicken noise! I think it's happened! I think the unthinkable's happened! I think he might have drowned down here! Why didn't I leave him outside? I knew it wasn't a good idea to bring him in! Right, stop everything. I can't carry on building a, a police station after this. Right, Lee? We haven't had to do this in a very long time, but it's time to build another grave for spring. You know what? We could build it down here, but I don't want to build it down here because then no one's going to see it. We'll build it next to the police station and then everyone uh, who's going to be walking past this area is going to see it. So this is really sad. It's really sad when you lose a pet, but uh, you can have a grave for them and they're never really going to be gone uh, because you can always remember them. And as long as you remember them, then they're always still going to be there. And Spring was so lovely. He was one of my favorite dogs and one of my oldest dogs as well. I can't believe that happened. I was doing so good. I hadn't lost a dog in so, so long so uh, I think we're I think we'll build it down here next to the police station uh, down on this side down here so um, I'm gonna go and uh, fill in some dirt here and uh, we're gonna we're gonna change this to, to gravel soon uh, but for now I just do dirt and uh, if I just go and uh, make a, a sign and uh, then I can go and put down a, a sign for spring I can't believe that happened that's so sad I never like it when that happens so uh, let me go and get the sign and I'm gonna go and put that down here and just write on the sign uh, rest in peace and then spring is of course the uh, the name of my dog and then 
uh, yeah, this, then this is a place where we can always remember them. So as I said, uh, they're never really gone. And uh, instead of thinking about the sadness that spring isn't here, I can remember about all of the, the good times uh, that I've had with spring in the past and all the, the fun that we've had uh, playing together. And so I'm sorry uh, to end the video on such a sad note. It's really upsetting that spring has gone, uh, but don't worry. In the next episode, we're going to carry on uh, building the uh, playful Popo uh, police station, and we're now going to be building it in the honour of spring. And so there's uh, something to try and make it uh, a little bit better. And so I want to thank you all very much for watching this video, and hopefully I'll see you in my next episode. Bye!